Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum dear student. This is Masood here and you are watching my YouTube channel Learn English with Masood. Student, today we have a topic about formal versus informal language. This is very important for your spoken and written language and especially for the student of BCom and ADP Commerce. Let's see the difference between formal and informal language. First of all, let's see the formal language. What is formal language? Formal language does not use colloquialisms. Colloquial is arms ban. Okay? Jo gali kuche, street, isra, jo boli jati hai. That is colloquial. Contractions. Is mein abbreviation used ni ki jati. Or first person pronouns such as I or we. Is mein use nahi kiya jata. Formal language. And informal language is more casual and spontaneous. Ikdam, jab aap jo kuch bolte ho, that is casual and spontaneous. It is used when communicating with friends, family, either in writing or in conversation. Jab aap apni family mein kisi se baat karte ho, friends se baat karte ho, to uske andar jo aap language use kar rahe ho, wo aapki informal language hoti. The tone of informal language is more personal than formal language. Okay, this is personal thing. Now let's see some examples. This is the basic difference of language mein, formal and informal language. Full sentences. Formal language mein kya honge? complete sentences honge. or informal language mein, short sentences. Correct grammar and vocab us mein hogi formal language mein and informal language lack formal and grammar and vocab. No contraction for example I would complete hai and informal mein contractions hongi I'd. No idioms. Idioms for example on point good. Passive voice in formal language and in informal language we use active voice okay formal and informal ki kuch or example they can no phrasal verbs for example to investigate and phrasal verb that is look into this is used in informal language no abbreviation Isme koi bhi abbreviation use ni ki jati as soon as possible complete sentence hai. Yaha par abbreviation that is ASAP aap use kar sakte ho jaysay aap text messages karte ho that is informal language. Isi tarah no exclamation mark for example what a pity there is no exclamation mark at the end of pity but in informal you use what a pity. No imperative. For example, you may complete the form. But in informal, this is imperative. Start with the verb. For example, complete the form. Aap usko bilkul verb hi shuru mein laga dete ho. Some more examples. Formal and informal language mein dekhe. Word hai ji, lastly. Ye aapne kaha use kiya? Formal language mein. Or informal mein aapne kya use kiya? And one of the best thing. She has the ability. Or for informal mein kya kaha apne? She can. The plan was implemented. This is formal. They put the plan into action. Yaha par unho ne kya var puri? Plan into action. Or destination. The place where we want to go. It will cause to be a problem. It won't be a problem anymore. This is formal and informal. Let's see more examples. An informal language. One grows weary in these matters. I'm getting tired of this junk. This appear to rectify the problem. Rectify means pehchan ho na pata chalna, detect ho jana. 
this seems to be this seems to fix the problem to fix is it is got theek karna your arrival when you get here please state your business can i help you i appreciate your assistance thanks a lot in light of the fact that because it is my opinion that and just i think some more examples of formal and informal language it is necessary to i need to you don't have to an informal it is not necessary for you to it is recommended we recommend our destination the place where we want to go it will cause to be a problem it won't be a problem anymore some more examples of formal and informal language how do you do what's up it's a pleasure to meet you it's a pleasure to see you nice to meet you nice to see you at your earliest convenience jitni bhi aapko sahulat ho jaise bhi as soon as you can concerned about you worried about you firstly to start with for a start give my regards to say hello to formal and informal language have you heard from her lately lately mean haal hi mein iska matlab der se nahi hai heard from her lately recently have you seen tom seen tom i agree with my colleagues anna that anna's right and a theek hai we would like to we want to would you like me to shall i to consider to think about some more examples to distinguish farak karna imtiyaz karna ke liye to tell the difference this demonstrates ye show karta hai this shows us this shows that it is received we are in receipt we have received attractive good looking by by means of lead to cause formal and informal languages ki kuch aur examples continue and informal go on also in addition to mazid responsible in charge of persuade talk into visit call on considerable really big exceptional marvelous subsequently next test try out resembles looks like reach come up to this is the example of formal beneficial and good for that's it if you still have any question put your question in the comment box and give your suggestion also i'll upload another video for you thank you